first tonight, parents in Leeds have declared war on the car and reclaimed the roads. They've paved the street outside their homes with grass in an attempt to provide a safer environment for their children. The campaign group Transport 2000 says it hopes the move will encourage others to seize the initiative. Our West Yorkshire reporter Geeta Gurumurthy is in the Methley area of the city. This street has too few people and too many cars. That's the complaint of some residents here who've today created an oasis of green. The residents of Methley Terrace have raised £2,000 to turf it all over. They want a space for their children to play, for neighbours to come out and watch the world go by. And this is the launch of their street takeover bid. Eight o'clock this morning, watering cans at the ready, and 800 square metres of turf was delivered to a terraced street like any other until now. It's all been prompted by the increasing traffic levels. In 1984, motorists drove 266 billion kilometres, not including motorway mileage. A decade later, that figure rose to 355 billion. Although the number of pedestrian casualties fell in the same space of time from 5,351 to 4,500, many believe something must be done to make the roads safer. 12-year-old Ben Newman was killed by a driver doing 70 miles an hour in a residential area. His family support the Leeds campaign. We're still not over it yet. I mean, we're still trying to come to terms with it. Although, you know, we hope that something will be done. Children here this weekend are being treated to a village fete, a mini Olympics and an outside cinema screening. Motorists are being asked to drive 10 miles an hour and the pressure group Transport 2000 is using this to launch a national campaign to cut traffic levels. Of course we are all a bit schizophrenic about this and we do want to, to drive our car and to have street space to play in and to chat in. And I think it's partly about being grown up and saying, OK, we do have to make some difficult choices. I think it's absolutely wonderful that a community can come together and everybody contribute. It's a change for um, people around here because it's just all road. We're lucky to live here, really, because like, there's not many places like this and not many people that are doing this. By simply laying down some grass, many here hope to show how a street can literally come to life. Well, this street has certainly never seen anything quite like it before and the children haven't stopped playing out here all day. The man whose idea it was is Adrian Sinclair of the Methley's Neighbourhood Action Group. Adrian, tell me why you wanted to do this here. Well, we, we knew we wanted to have some sort of festival on the street. Uh, we had one last year and it seems to be something that's very good around here. And, and she's uh, enjoying it. <laughs> absolutely. And, and we thought, well, we haven't got any green spaces in the Methley's and that's one of the things that from our consultation with residents, they've said they want it. So we thought, well, rather than just talk about it, why don't we actually try it out and see how it would be? So we turfed the street, and now we've got our village green and we can have our village fate. This is very much what you're wanting, is, is a village lifestyle in the middle of the, of the city. It can't really be, practically be extended anyway, can it? But, I mean, there's all sorts of, just looking at Leeds, it's full of neighbourhoods, just like this one, where there is a strong community spirit, where people do identify with the area. And you look at all the kids and how proud they are of where they live now. And you can see that I think these sorts of things can happen throughout the area. You say that, but actually I'm sure many of the residents here also have cars, don't they? Yeah, and we've never been against cars. We've always accepted that people have cars. We don't have a problem with parking in the Methley. We have a problem that because there's too much street and not enough place for people. But the cars have to go somewhere. People tend to want to do these journeys door to door from home to work, don't they? Yes, so we've, I mean, all, in all the plans that we've got, and they've become from residents, it's about looking where we need spaces for cars and where we could actually use part of the street for people. Like this street, the, these houses all have access on the other side of, uh, of them to, to another road. So the residents here are saying, well, yeah, we could have something different in this street. We don't need it as a, as a place for cars. Adrian, thanks very much indeed for joining us. I know this goes on for the whole weekend. Good luck with it all. Thank you. This is Geeta Gurumurthy reporting for Look North from Leeds.